the big bad of Broken Realms Cracknos is finally here. In today's video, we'll be unboxing Cracknos and let's see whether he stands up to the Mega Gargans as they claim. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the Studio Collectors. In today's unboxing video, we'll be unboxing Cracknos, the latest launch from Games Workshop. When Games Workshop previewed this model, maybe about a month or so ago, I was really hyped and very attracted to the bestial anatomy on this model. I think that there is a lot of potential painting, the volumes on this model, and I can't wait to paint him up. Honestly, this model isn't very complex, but because he's very organic in nature, I suspect that there will be some gap filling in assembling this model. In this video, I'll be assembling the model as well as recommending some sub-assembly so that you can quickly get your very own Cracknos painted up quickly and get him on the table dock to a very very high standard. For this model, I also hope to produce a comprehensive guide of how to paint the beast of girl. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video like that. I've done similar videos for Lord Crow as well as the Soul Blight Grave Lords, so why not check them out in the meantime? Links will be in the description below. So enough dawdling around, let's look at what we'll be getting in the Cracknos box right now. So today we're going to be unboxing the big bad of, well I guess, AOS 3.0. This is Cracknos. Let's see what we have in here. So just holding it, it feels a little bit more hefty than the Lord Crook box. And yeah, he looks pretty massive. We're gonna compare him eventually to a Mega Gargan when we assemble him. Look, really nice details with lots of like skeleton corpses. Skeletons lying around the base and everything. So I'm just gonna slice the thing apart. Trying to open desperately. See what the hell is in this. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at what we get inside Cracknos. Wow, okay. So of course you get instructions. And unlike Lord Crow, you get two full screws. And these parts look very organic like the Mega Gargan. So I can imagine there's going to be quite a bit of gap filling. Okay, so his horse butt is here. Comes on a really big base. I think that's 120 mm. And yeah, you get two full sprues worth of plastic. It's your 120 mm base, really large. Okay, so now let's look at the instructions and let's see what sub assemblies you can do. In my mind, I would probably leave the armor plating off so that we can paint the model. And let's see whether it's possible. Okay, of course, the terrain comes first. Horse body, definitely. Okay, this will all be in one piece. Yep. I would probably leave the armor plates off so that it makes painting the organic skin a lot easier. Yep. Just leave these armor plates off. And options. What options do we have here? Uh, you can choose him facing the right or the left. Or let's see, I think there's an option where you can see whether you want his mouth closed or not. Not sure where that option is. Yeah, okay. We'll decide this later. Okay, so for those of you who play the game, this is his wall scroll. Looks like he destroyed some Dracolif Empire. And yeah. More languages and yeah this is Cracknos unboxed. We're going to assemble Cracknos so just keep watching and I'll see you in a little bit. So now that we have unboxed Cracknos I'll be using the following tools right here to assemble Cracknos. Because it's an organic model I suspect there's going to be some gap filling involved and I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. So let's get assembling Cracknos right now. Alright, so as usual, I'm going to be using my God Hand Clippers. 
and I'm just gonna cut off the main parts without cutting too close to the model itself because this leaves a little bit of plastic and when you cut the little nubs off this allows you to very carefully cut even closer to the plastic without the chance of overcutting. And sometimes if you cut straight to the plastic, you really leave a bit of that plastic behind on the other nubs that will be dented because of the stress when you're cutting the other nubs and that will cause damage to the model. So I prefer this technique. So as you can see, this is stage two where you remove the nubs and right here, I'm just following the instructions. I'm going to be assembling the rocks first. And then I'm going to be assembling the body and then doing some gap filling. So as mentioned in the previous section, I foretold that there was going to be a lot of gap filling because Cracknos is an organic model. And as I mentioned, it's true. There's really a lot of gap filling to be done. It's not that the model doesn't fit together. It's just that because when two parts come together, there's definitely a gap. And right here, I'm using the rough sandpaper. This is a grid 80 to remove the, the nubs at the joining part. So you can find this, especially on the torso, where I find that GW has placed some nubs in the critical areas and you've got to use a tougher sandpaper like a grid 80 to get rid of the nubs first. Then I'm going in with a grid 220 then a grid 500 sandpaper to sand away the excess and smoothen out the stuff. So as you can see this area I found particularly troublesome. It's where Cracknosis armpit is. You want to assemble and then sand this part down with a gap filler before you stick it onto the model because it's going to be very hard to sand these areas when the horse body has already been put on. This is why I've opted to clean up these areas first before moving on. So after finishing sanding the body, you want to just fill up the gaps at the waist. And this is what I'm doing now. I'm currently using AK Grey Party and I'm liberally doing it layer by layer before just very very lightly sanding it down. Most of the areas are actually going to be covered with armor, but I'm just going to be extra sure. I don't want to leave any gaps unfilled and unsanded. Okay, so now Cracknos comes with two heads facing options. It comes with the head for it to face right, and it comes with the other side where it allows you to face left. I'm taking the one where it's facing left because I found that it gives a very intimidating downward facing pose. Because Cracknos is such a huge model, I recommend painting him in sub-assemblies. These are the sub-assemblies that I will be recommending while painting Cracknos. So these are the sub-assemblies. I've opted to put Cracknos as one whole piece. As you can see, my Cracknos is facing to the left. Then the rock as one whole piece. And his two horns separate. And all the other armor parts, I've left on the sprue. And I'll just cut them off and they will be the next sub-assembly. Yep. So all the extra pieces, I've so left them away from the rock. And because I just want to paint the whole Cracknos body before pasting the pieces on Cracknos itself so it doesn't obscure any of his flesh. So now let's look at some size comparisons. I'm going to be comparing Cracknos with, of course, an Overwatch skeleton. And for this video, I'm also going to be sizing him up with our very own Mega Gargan, which we have painted some months ago. So let's check out the size comparisons right now. Okay, so this is Cracknos next to a skeleton. You can see that Cracknos really towers over this battle line miniature. And I really like this leftward facing one. I find that it's even better than what you have seen in the box art. So this is him side by side with a Mega Gargan. I don't think he really stands up against the Mega Gargan because he's actually quite small compared to the Mega Gargan. But of course, when he's standing atop his rock, with his horns, of course, he's slightly taller. 
wow, this is really an awesome model. Do let me know in the description below if you'd like to see me paint up this model. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Give us a like and subscribe if you found this video useful and support us directly. Go to our Patreon and become a Patreon and get a whole slew of painting content which we have been producing over the past year or so. Thank you to our Patreons for allowing us to do this and I hope to see you guys in the next painting tutorial soon. See you guys.